You famously pointed to the threat of nuclear war as the greatest threat possibly facing um, humankind. To my knowledge, no U.S. administration, including your own, ever acknowledged Israel's possession of a substantial nuclear weapons arsenal. Do you think that's a continued legitimate U.S. policy to not acknowledge Israel's nuclear weapons capacity? And related question, have you had any contact with Mordecai Venunu, the whistleblower who brought to light the extent of the Israeli nuclear weapons program? Well, I don't think it's uh, up to me to say what an incumbent president should do. And when I was a president, I did not comment on Israel's nuclear arsenal. But it's generally known throughout the diplomatic and scientific world that, that Israel does have a substantial arsenal. Uh, and I'm not acquainted with, uh, with Mordecai's uh, position. Why didn't you acknowledge it? Do, do, you, do you think that, that that's a beneficial thing, or do you think that that was a beneficial thing, not to just bring it out in the open and well, deal with it in a comprehensive fashion? Well, the fact that it's well known anyway by every diplomat and every, every scientist involved in nuclear affairs, it doesn't make it uh, incumbent or important that the President of the United States announces that another nation does have nuclear arsenals. All the other countries that, that have uh, nuclear arsenals have indeed announced them, Maybe some erroneously, like in North Korea, we're not sure about that. But the other uh, nuclear powers, including India and Pakistan now, and the five original ones, announced it themselves. I don't think it's up to the United States government, president or officials, to announce that another country does indeed have or have not uh, nuclear arsenals if they themselves won't acknowledge it. I don't think it's uh, helpful to do that, but I don't think it's harmful either because everybody knows it. Yes, I'll get you, I'll get you next. 